Hey, New Hope fam, Pastor Zach and Marin here. We just wanted to share something with you that's been on our heart lately. This is the idea of being generous. Now, I know this is something that I spoke about just a couple Sundays ago, um, but I want you to know I wasn't just preaching to you, but I was preaching to myself, and this is something that's really been sitting on our heart a lot lately. Right now, we're living in a time that feels surreal. Um, we're faced with a lot of uncertainties. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know when things are going to go back to normal, how much worse this might all get. For me personally, I've been struggling with um, how to prepare for all this. Do I over-prepare? Do I under-prepare and find us in need of things when we don't have access to them? It can be so tempting to focus only on what our family needs, what we need day to day and forget about everyone else around us. But we've been really challenged in believing that God is calling us to be more generous in this time than we ever have before. And he's really challenging us to think more about the world outside of ourselves. And a verse that's really stood out to us lately that we want to share with you today is in Proverbs chapter 11. And it's verse 24 through 26. It says, one person gives freely yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. People curse the one who hoards grain, but they pray God's blessing on the one who is willing to sell. Man, as Christians, we should be the most generous people on the planet. We should give the most because we have been given the most. Right. And what better time to be a witness to people than right now? In a time where everyone is being stingy, uh, we can be generous. Everyone's making sure that they've got all the money lined up right, that they've got all their toilet paper, that they've got all their canned goods, all the Clorox wipes. What better time for us to be generous, to give to people who are in need, to give even when it doesn't make sense. And someone, they might seem like they have everything they could need. Like maybe they drive a nicer car than you have. Their kids are dressed nicer than your kids. And you're thinking, man, they've got everything that, that they could ever need. But God puts on your heart to be generous with them. And maybe you're sitting there saying, why should I be generous to that person? They've got everything they need. And, and maybe that person's sitting there saying, man, I'm, I'm waiting for a sign from yeah. God. God, if you're out there, show me a sign that yeah. you're real. And you being generous could be that sign. How powerful is it that, that we could be generous even when it doesn't make sense? Maybe it's not just being generous with things, but maybe it's being generous with our words. Send mm. a card in the mail yeah. to someone saying, I'm thinking about you. Ask them how they're doing. Social media right now is blowing up with everyone's opinions. Um, people thinking that they know what's best for our country or our state or whatever it might be. Um, instead of joining in in those arguments, instead of joining in in that fear, be the light. Why not be someone who refreshes others? Use this as an opportunity to share all that Jesus has done for you in your life and share where that hope comes mm -hmm. from. And share with them why you're not joining in with all the fear and the worry and the doubt. Mm -hmm. I recently heard this quote that says, our kids won't remember much about the effects of this virus, whether it be social, economical, political, but they will remember how home felt when the world was freaking yeah. out. How powerful is that? People are watching. Your kids, your grandkids are watching how you respond in this time. Imagine 20 years from now talking with your, your kids, your grandkids, and they tell you that the thing that they remember the most about your family, growing up in your family, was how you valued generosity. That when you had a lot, you gave. When you had a little, you continued to give. Yeah, and, and I just want to share again with you in verse 26. It says, people curse the one who hoards grain, but they pray God's blessing on the one who is willing to sell, on the one who is generous. And tonight... We just want to pray God's blessing over you and, and just a spirit of generosity as, as we all navigate through these uncertain times. Jesus, I thank you uh, for every person out there who is tuning in, whether it be today or tomorrow or the next day, God. I pray that your blessings would just flow um, through them, God. I pray that, that you would give a blessing to us so that you can give a blessing through us, that we would be generous even when it doesn't make sense, God. I thank you um, that, that even though we, we don't see how you're working it together right now, that, that we know that you're working things together for, for your good, God. And I pray that our hearts and our minds would just be open to what you're speaking to us, to how we can be generous to someone, and that we would be light in dark times. Mm -hmm. God, I thank you for just such a great, loving church, God. And I thank you for, for a group of people who have already been generous and who are going to continue to be generous in this time. And I just pray your blessing over them and that your safety would be with them and that we would uh, stay healthy during this time. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. We love you guys. We miss you. We can't wait to be with you guys again.
Remember, be a light. Be someone who refreshes those around you. And have a great day.